Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. This is the eighth chapter of rigging in Maya. Till the seventh chapter, we have uh, discussed about the creating creation of the foot controls, and right now in this chapter, we are going to discuss about how to create this the hand FK controls of this character. Now. Before you start with this chapter, we'll, I'll st uh, strongly recommend that you go through the Odin Constraint or any other Constraint chapters that we have already provided uh, to make uh, a most out of it. So, and because that is important, because I'm going to use the Odin Constraint feature of uh, Maya uh, in this chapter. So, better you get an idea about the Odin Constraint before you go through it. Okay. For creating that, I'll just uh, create a nerve circle. And um, first, I'm going to show uh, if I do a direct uh, creation or connection of a, a controller, how that the problems, what kind of problems you can face, uh, and to avoid that problem or to come over the problem, what you should have to do. Okay, and just uh, increase the size of it. I have my uh, FK joint over here. Just a snap with it and just uh, rotate in the z axis oh, 90 degree or something. Fine. Now I have some values in the rotate z axis which I really don't want to. So for get rid getting rid of that, I'll modify and freeze transformation. Good. Now, uh, <clears throat> just uh, make sure the uh, our circle is actually aligned with the uh, joint. So, just uh, you can do one thing is manually just rotate this, or we can leave it like this. Select the joint. Uh, sorry, select the controller. Shift select the joint. Go to constraint and hit orient constraint by switch on the meeting offset on okay that's it so my controller has been created but this creation has some you know problem or has some you know uh, actually this is wrong because if you rotate uh, uh, according to your you know, joint chain like this you won't have you can't it's not possible because uh, you don't have the gizmo Will be aligned according to my joint chain. So that's the problem people generally face while creation of the controllers. So how, what we have to, oh, I mean, we need to do, we need to align this gizmo with the joint gizmo, orientation gizmo. That has to be done. Otherwise, this kind of rotation movement will won't affect. This time, I'm going to, you know. Delete the constraint by go to edit, delete by type, oops, constraint, and I want this 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 rotational movement also because that's very important for my shoulder orientation. So how can we create that? Let's uh, see this. First, you have to, oops, first you have to create the circle and give it a name which is very very important SHLD underscore L underscore FK underscore CTRL that's the naming convention that we have uh, discussed earlier that this is going to be the way of uh, naming convention this is very important stuff in the productions also you have to maintain your naming convention right so that you can work seam into your team seamlessly and the entire project has the same uh, way of uh, naming conventions which actually helps to you know uh, make your project uh, much more uh, you know, professional and also it's very helpful to to you know maintain some uh, uh, big projects. So if you select this, you can see SHLD underscore L underscore FK. This is, a, this is my joint and <coughs> SHLD underscore L underscore FK underscore CTRL. Now this is my controllers. So I I created this controller. Now right now what I have to do, I just make it a group of itself. 
just hit control G and it, the group will come up and I'll just rename this SHLD underscore L underscore F A underscore G R P or maybe C G R L underscore G R P. Okay, fine. So that's my control group node. And I have to why I create this uh, because I need some uh, a rotational value to be you know, put on uh, so bypassing this uh, those rotational values. So let's see. First of all, whatever the changes in the rotational or scale value or positional value, I will make this uh, into the group node. I won't select the uh, circle and make it. Uh, change in that I please don't do any kind of changes in the controllers in the controller I mean the direct circle just select the circle and hit the up arrow go to the group node and change your uh, required changes that you want to create according to the shape or something else so let's see select group and first I will increase the scale value and then I will move this join, sorry, the controller or the group node, sorry, with my to my joint. Fine. So after that, I just uh, hit um, J and just rotate this to 90 degrees. Fine. Now, after uh, creating this, Go to the modify and say freeze transformation. Remember, I am still working on the group node. I am not at all working on the controls, the the circle that I've uh, I've created. If we go to the uh, window and outliner, you can see this is my shld underscore l underscore fk control group, and under that I have my controller intact. See? Okay, fine. Now what we'll do? I need to align this uh, my controller according to my joint for creating that what I have to do I need to use my orientation constraint and of Maya now how can you do that <clears throat> um, I have already discussed about this feature in my in the basics of orient constraint I strongly recommend that you go through this before uh, you were seeing this so so that you can understand more precisely select the joint and you have to shift select the group node because I don't want to you know, disturb the the joint so select the group node and go to the orient constraint and I switch off this maintain offset this is a very important option over here I will just switch off the maintain offset off button and say add and immediately you can see my group node is actually aligned with my joint but the important thing is my controller which is the circle not the group node have a clean value still but I have my group node with my constraint and also a garbage value of minus 49.786 now <clears throat> right now what is the hierarchical situation if I see this is my hierarchical situation I have a group and a circle which is a child of that particular group and I want this to be happen the circle will control the joint okay so that I can rotate the circle and the joint will rotate but right now what is happening the joint is already oriented orient constraint with the group node okay so this is my uh, direction if I uh, Ah, yeah, fine. This is my direction. So that is uh, the direction of our uh, parent parenting. So joint is right now controlling the group. So this is becoming a loop, which is uh, really not wanted. Now, what will happen if right now I haven't uh, uh, um, connected the circle with the joint? Now, what will happen if I select the Controller the CTRL not the group shift select the joint and hit the orient constraint With the maintain offset on you see there is an there is a warning message coming out the cycle on SHLD underscore L underscore constraint target because 
and you can already see that uh, the joint has been flipped and uh, there is a absolutely messed up situation has happening why this is happening this happened because of this situation i am creating this circle the as a parent of this joint orientationally and again the joint is already been parented orientationally of the group and the group node is already the uh, parent of the circle already so this is a complete messed up so i have to i need to you know um, work with this work in this uh, and i have to really cut this orientation constraint because this orientation constraint is making this as a loop which will give me some warning or very unexpected results so what we'll do we'll just simply select the group node and edit delete by type group constraint now by deleting this what is the plus point is my connection has been broken over here but still but the garbage value that should be kept on the group node is still there so that my rotational gizmo is perfectly still aligned with the joint and my controllers have a very clean 000 value in the channel box so everything that i have targeted has been solved i'm not going to select the group node for my animation because whenever i am selecting this in the viewport it's by default selecting the control not the group node that actually a plus point in maya so it won't accidentally even effect select the group node until you are in the group node mode you are not in the you know uh, hierarchical up up hierarchy mode so otherwise if you select on switch on this and sorry If you select this, then only you can accidentally when create select the group node. Otherwise, it's not possible. Oops, sorry, I have, it's, it's, it's in component mode. This one is the group node. Okay, select. If you just select by uh, switching on this hierarchical up hierarchical select by hierarchy and combination mode, then you will only go go to the group node by default. Otherwise, in general, you won't even select this group node. So that is always been in a hidden side. Of your uh, of of your project. So <clears throat> right now, I need to just connect this circle with the joint. So select the circle or the controller that I want to create, and shift select the joint. Go to orient constraint option. Switch on the maintain offset this time, and hit add. And right now, you are seamlessly added your shoulder controller with every rotational features you want according to your requirement so this one is very important uh, for fk creation though there are lots of scripts are available for creation the uh, controllers and everything that you can use but this is the way how you can uh, manipulate your own way own things or own controllers to create and this is the logic behind how you can seamlessly create your uh, for kinematics controls in your uh, characters so hope you enjoy this thank you very much please uh, subscribe to our youtube channel and also uh, like us on facebook hope you enjoy this thank you very much